So when most people make rice, they put a cup of rice and a couple of cups of water, a couple of cups of stock, and some salt, and that's it. You can actually get much better flavor. I sliced those shallots, and I saved this chicken fat. Remember the fat I put in my stock so I could get some nice fat? So here are my skimmings. So I'm gonna take a little bit of chicken fat instead of butter or instead of olive oil. This is gonna make my pilaf taste so much more chicken. And I have these shallots that I just sliced up. And I'm just, I'm gonna saute these until they uh, are soft and translucent, not quite brown. Now you can see they're just starting to soften. This takes me maybe about three to five minutes worth of sauteing. These are gonna be perfect, and then I'm gonna saute in the rice. Now a good way to tell that the shallots are cooked enough so that they're not gonna be gassy is when they stop burning your eyes. <laughs> yeah, I think this is good. They're not quite brown. Um, they're starting to smell a little bit meaty. And here I have about a cup of rice with uh, about a teaspoon of salt stirred into the rice. And now I'm going to saute the rice in the chicken fat with the shallots. This is really gonna flavor this rice. And then I always love to add a little bit of freshly milled pepper. Ma macho alert. Go ahead. I, he's got chocolate all on his hands. <laughs> Let him wipe it in your, in your apron. <laughs> wipe it on my apron. Wipe out Peppy's apron. What Peppy doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 I love you. It's Peter yeah. Pop. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. All right. A moment yeah. of... Uh, <laughs> Watch your rice. Yep, yep, yep. Got to keep stirring it. So now I put my knuckles against the rice. And when it feels hot to the touch, from my chicken stock, I took about two cups. Just going to add the chicken stock. Stir it a couple of times. Reduce the heat to a simmer. Put a lid on it and then follow the cooking instructions from there, usually 35 to 45 minutes, depending on which brown rice you buy. You gotta go, we're busy. Bye. 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 So we're gonna cook this pilaf and then we're gonna plate the chicken. So to cook the pilaf, I have a pan heating uh, over pretty high flame, you know, a medium high to high. Gonna use a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And then I'm just gonna kind of swirl it around, make sure it coats well. And I'm just gonna add this spinach. Now, it looks like a lot of spinach, but spinach is like 80% water. So what's gonna happen as this cooks, you're gonna see that it's gonna shrink. So I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of salt because that helps promote uh, the wilting, but also helps it taste like really good. Maybe add just a touch more oil. So you can see that that spinach shrank a bunch. So now here's some here's some chicken that my wife picked off of the backs and the wings. Don't waste anything. Add a little bit extra protein to that pilaf, and then we have our rice which cooked about 40, 45 minutes. I'm gonna take about half of it, add our butternut squash. And because the rice is already hot, 
that's all I have to do. So this is now like the perfect pilaf. Let's plate it and take a bite. Look at that. Just look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. There we go. <laughs> I'll see you in the kitchen.